we're going to do a little street theater. A little street theater. About why? About why? We're here. We're here. Also. Also. This is a mic check. This is a mic check. Could you guys be a little louder? Could you guys be a little louder? And more enthusiastic. And more enthusiastic. Okay? Okay. 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 So we are here. So we are here. At Comcast. At Comcast. Serving Occupy Phillies. Because we acknowledge, we acknowledge that part of free speech, that part of free speech is the question, is the question of whose voices, of whose voices are amplified, are amplified, and whose voices, and whose voices are heard, are heard. Comcast, Comcast is one of a few, is one of a few corporations, corporations in the United States, in the United States that decide, that decide whose voices, whose voices are amplified. Are amplified and whose voices and whose voices are heard are heard and as we saw today and as we saw today they have very little interest they have very little interest in listening to and listening to the people the people we had a petition we had a petition with 23,000 93,092 92 signatures on it signatures on it and they wouldn't even come down. And they wouldn't even come down to receive us. To receive us. They didn't even send. They didn't even send an intern. An intern. I'm sure they have interns. I'm sure they have interns. They could have sent one of them. They could have sent one of them. But they didn't. But they didn't. And I think this shows. That Comcast. That Comcast is not listening to the people. Is not listening to the people. Which is very disturbing. Which is very disturbing. Because they're one of a few corporations. They're one of a few corporations that decide. Whose voices are heard. That decides whose voices are heard. Today we're going to do a dramatic interpretation. Today we're going to do a dramatic interpretation of a very important TV channel. Of a very important TV channel called Al Jazeera English. Called Al Jazeera English. That is watched around the world. That is watched around the world. It is the only global news network. It is the only global news network with more bureaus in the global south. With, with more bureaus in the global south. And by the global south, I mean Africa, Asia, the, and Latin America. Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Where most people in the world live. Where most people in the world live. And, um, and they are being silenced. They are being silenced. By this huge corporation. By this huge corporation. That seems to have. That seems to have. Very little interest. Very little interest. In listening to the people. In listening to the people. So I thought what we do. So I thought what we do. If they're not going to make the media. If they're not going to make the media. We'll make the media. We'll make the media. If they're not going to. If they're not going to. Responsibly represent. Responsibly represent. Diverse voices. Diverse voices. We're going to do it ourselves. We're going to do it ourselves. So we're going to read. So we're going to read. A few of the headlines. A few of the headlines. From Al Jazeera English. From Al Jazeera English. That you're not going to be able to. That you're not going to be able to. Watch on TV today. Watch on TV today. Because Comcast won't let you. Because Comcast won't let you. But we're going to let you. But we're going to let you. Here's our television. Here's our television. And it is now airing. Al Jazeera English. And it is now airing Al Jazeera English. Woo! Woo! Okay, so, this is our first reporter. Go ahead. A woman embraces a child with a painted face during a protest in front of the Syrian embassy in London. The protest followed an overnight demonstration outside the embassy aimed reports from activists that Syrian forces have killed more than 200 people in, a, in an assault on the city of Homs. The bloodiest since the uprising. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next. Next reporter. This is another headline Yo, from Mike Check It All. 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 Yeah, yeah. You got it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Just keep going. Just keep going. Several killed in Afghan blasts. Several killed in Afghan blasts. At least nine people have been killed. At least nine people have been killed. After a car bomb exploded. After a car bomb exploded. Outside the police headquarters. Outside the police headquarters. Of a southern Afghanistan city. 
of Southern Afghanistan City. The blast went off. The blast went off. At a parking lot outside the police building. At a parking lot outside the police building. On Sunday. On Sunday. Five police officers. Five police officers. And two civilians were amongst. And two civilians were amongst. Those killed. Those killed. And these. And at least 19 people, and at least 19 people were wounded. We're wounded. The blast was large enough to shatter. The blast was large enough to shatter windows in nearby buildings. Windows in nearby buildings. It appeared the bomb was in a parking in a parked vehicle. It appeared the bomb was in a parked vehicle and was remotely detonated. And was remotely detonated. Next report. Next, Next, Next report. report. <laughs> Malaysia deports Saudi and Twitter post row. Malaysia, Malaysia deports Saudi and Twitter, Twitter post, post row. row. Louder. Malaysia has reported. Malaysia has reported a young Saudi journalist. A young Saudi journalist who is wanted in his home country. Who is wanted in his home country? Over Twitter posts. Over Twitter posts. About the prophet. About, about the Prophet Muhammad. That sparked calls for his execution. That, that sparked calls for his execution. Hamza Kashgari. Hamza Kashgari. A 23 year old. A 23 year old. A 23 year old. A 23 year old. Newspaper columnist. Newspaper columnist. Fled his home country. Fled his home country. After making comments. After, after making, making comments. comments. On the microblogging site. On the microblogging site. Deemed insulting to the Prophet Muhammad. Insulting the Prophet is considered blasphemous. Insulting the Prophet is considered blasphemous. It is law. And it's a crime punishable by death in Saudi Arabia. And it's a crime punishable by death in Saudi Arabia. Thank you. Next report. Next report. This is C reporting from South Asia. This is C reporting from South Asia. Here we have one of the world's smallest primates. Here we have one of the world's smallest primates. About the size of a human hand. About the size of a human hand. Now ordinarily these primates have been considered silent. Now ordinarily these primates have been considered silent. But in the last week scientists have discovered. But in the last week scientists have discovered that these primates actually communicate on a private channel. That these primates actually communicate on a private channel. That these actually communicate on a private channel. They emit high frequency sounds. They emit high frequency sounds. Above 20 kilohertz. Above 20 kilohertz. That the hu human ears cannot hear. That the human ears cannot hear. So they can warn each other of intruders coming into their forest. So they can warn each other of intruders coming into their forest. So far only whales and domestic cats and certain species of bats can do this amazing private channel communication. So far only whales and cats and, 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 and private domestic channel cats domestic cats and certain species of bats and certain species of bats can communicate on this private channel. Can communicate, can communicate on this private channel. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you and have a good day. Okay. I'm Nate. I'm Nate. Reporting from Myanmar. Reporting from Myanmar. What is in it for the U.S.? What is in it for the U.S.? As U.S. officials visit, as U.S. officials visit, we ask if progress is underway. We ask if progress is underway, or if Myanmar's president, or if Myanmar's president, is the public face, is the public face of the old junta, of the old junta. There've been a flurry of vi recent visits. There have been a flurry of recent visits to Myanmar, to Myanmar by Western governments, by Western governments offering more development assistance. Offering more development assistance. The U.S. now says. The U.S. now says it wants to restore full diplomatic relations. It wants to restore full diplomatic relations. Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell, the top Republican politician in the U.S. Senate, the top Republican politician in the U.S. Senate, is in Myanmar. His visit follows. His visit follows. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's visit. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's visit. Last month. Last month. 
It marks a new engagement with the nation. It marks a new engagement with the nation. Myanmar has huge amounts of untapped natural resources. Myanmar has huge amounts of untapped natural resources, including oil and gas, including oil and gas, minerals, minerals, gems, gems, and timber, and timber. Oil pipeline deal. Oil pipeline deal. In 2010, in 2010, Myanmar and China, Myanmar and China agreed on a pipeline, agreed on a pipeline worth two billion dollars, worth two billion dollars to ship oil and gas to China. To ship oil and gas to China. South Korea, South Korea has struck a deal, has struck a deal to develop mineral resources, to develop mineral resources, including rare earths, including rare earths, which are vital to many high-tech products which are vital to many high-tech products Japan too is seeking a similar deal Japan too is seeking a similar deal labor costs labor costs being less than one-fifth being less than one-fifth of those in China or Thailand of those in China or Thailand could attract US investment could attract US investment for example in garment factories for example in garment factories thank you thank you this is Julia. This is Julia. Reporting from Venezuela. Reporting from Venezuela. Venezuela opposition. Venezuela opposition. Chooses Chavez challenger. Chooses Chavez challenger. Henrique Capriles. Henrique Capriles. State governor. State governor. Has won a primary vote. Has won a primary vote. To become the single candidate. To become the single candidate. Who will challenge Venezuelan president. Who will challenge Venezuelan president. Hugo Chavez. Hugo Chavez. Launching a race to dislodge. Launching a race to dislodge. A leader who after 13 years. A leader who after 13 years. In power. In power. Still has a loyal following. Still has a loyal following. Teresa Alvarez. Teresa Alvarez. The opposition election chief. The opposition election chief. Announced the, pr the preliminary results. Announced the preliminary results. Saying that Cabrillas. Saying that Cabrillas. Won about 62 percent. Won about 62 percent of Sunday's vote. Of Sunday's vote. Beating Zulia state governor. Beating Zulia state governor. Pablo Perez. Pablo Perez. By a margin of more than 30 percentage points. By a margin of more than 30 percentage points. Diego Prada. Diego Prada. A 23-year-old marketing manager. A 23-year-old marketing manager. Said he thought Caprila's inclusive approach. Said he thought Caprila's inclusive approach offers a much better shot. Offers a much better shot against Chavez than other competitors. Against Chavez and other competitors. competitors who had taken a hard line. Who had taken a hard line against the president. Against the president. People are tired of so much confrontation. People are tired of so much confrontation. Prada said. Prada said. As for Caprillas, he said. As for Caprillas, he said. He has a message of unity. He has a message of unity. The once divided opposition. The once divided opposition has gained popularity in recent years. Has gained popularity in recent years. And the race could end up. And the race could end up being the toughest re-election bid of Chavez's career. Being the toughest re-election bid of Chavez's career. Thank you. Thank you.